What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Can We Talk? Because today we want to talk to you about these married to medicine chicks. Season 10, episode 5, I believe it is. But y'all, if it ain't, y'all know me. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started because on this one, it was a hot mess.com. Yes, I did say .com. Honey, we had people coming out of caskets. We had sweet tea with the flood on her um, wedding, uh, honeymoon. It was all kind of stuff. We had Heavenly and Quad going at it. Well, let's just get into it so we can talk more in detail. Okay, let's go. Well, first, you already know we got to say this. I'm tired of saying it, but YouTube and Bravo be messing with us. So I'd like to say fair use, fair use. Fair use. Fair use permits a party to use copyrighted work without the copyright owner's permission for purposes such as criticism, we gonna criticize, commentary, we gonna commentate, news reporting, we gonna update y'all with what these heifers is doing in real time, so that is news, teaching, because maybe y'all ratchet like some of them and we gotta teach y'all a few things. I mean, hey, you never know. Scholarship or research. So once again, this is fair use stop playing with us bravo on youtube stop playing with us okay so yes this episode was a hot mess and i've broken it down into seven segments however it's gonna be a long review because i got a lot to say about these heifers so for each segment i'm gonna put on the screen what the title is for segment one it's called Heavenly is like clockwork because you could predict what heavenly going to do because heavenly do the same thing over and over and over and over again. So we're going to start Miss Heavenly. Well, actually, we're going to start with the two that's talking about Miss Heavenly. And here we go. Thing was taken off the list. What do we think Heavenly did? Nah, nah, I know. <laughs> I bet Damon was like, come on, buddy, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> And you know what? They 100% correct. 100%. <laughs> they were going to be playing with it. Because here's Heavenly's reaction. Are we on the list, sir? Are you the wedding planner? I'm a wedding Am I on the list or no? I was informed that, you're, that they did not want you. There okay, but that's all we needed. This a bullshit. We know Heavenly gonna curse. If it's anything she gonna do, she gonna curse and cause a scene. Absolutely. And Dama is going to remain calm and be like, you know what? Come on, buddy. Let's go. Just like Jackie said, Damon has one gear and that's mm -hmm. just chill at all times. But wait, wait, wait. I lied. I lied because I can't remember which season that was. When they were at Contessa's house, not Contessa, Contessa's house, and Heavenly was showing out, and Damon had to go yoke oh, yeah, up and yeah, made yeah. her get in that truck. <laughs> that was the first time I saw Dr. Damon turn up, honey. This is a perfect example. How many times did I say, just stop? Just now. A bunch of them, but you didn't. That's a lack of respect. And Heavenly, fast, quick, and in a hurry, got her act together. She stopped all that bull jiving she likes to do, and she hopped her little behind in that car. I bet you that. I bet she you did. that. You know she how far did. to go. I'm not going to do this in front of my we husband. Said, I respect you my man. You know what? I respect him. You know you don't. Goodbye. Thank you. Damon, you see what she's saying? She's talking to you. But you're not listening to me. You're not listening. And she know when Damon give that daddy look, because she always call him daddy, daddy. When Damon gives that look, Heavenly gets gets together fast, quick, and in a hurry. So we already know who running things around there. He let mm -hmm. her in on TV, but this is on TV, honey. Because Damon showed us fast, quick, and in a hurry. But, like that's it. This, you don't keep, I'm not playing. If I ask you to do something, you should do what I ask you. And I'm doing it. I'm not saying anything. You said it already. You already made your choice. Heavenly gonna, like she said, Heavenly gonna curse, and Damon's gonna be chill about it. Well, let's see how chill Damon was. That's all he Love had it. to say. Love it. Love it. He's not with the bull stuff. And 
I just feel like that they were dead wrong for this. They were dead wrong for this. And Sweet Tea lies so much because she'll come on and say she sent an email and or she texts and let Heavenly know. Or she she had somebody. Did she say, was that the um the at first, planner? At, at first she said she had Johnny the planner emailed them then her ch- story changed to she was gonna send the email but then when she was on the live with Simone Cecil and whoever else she was like I wanted her to waste her gas and waste her time and come there and um not be able to get in so you didn't send nothing your story didn't change like, three times three times like all of her stories changed but had Heavenly come up in there and showed her behind and ruined your day it would have been your fault it would have been your fault because this lady left from her daughter's prom event, taking pictures of her daughter and doing all this other kind of stuff to come and be with you on a wedding that she didn't think was going to last. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> you wasted Dr. Da- Dr. Damon daddy's time. You don't do that. You don't do that. You can play with Heavenly all day long. Don't play with Damon. And if y'all want the receipts on what we're talking about on how Sweet Tea's story changed, you need to go back to our um, review for episode four because we did drop all of the video receipts. So just to recap in this segment, Heavenly is Clockwork, you know, Simone started mocking Heavenly's laugh. And like Clockwork, <laughs> Heavenly brought that laugh into the wedding and I got to play it. <laughs> Heavenly, how did you come up with that laugh? Oh my, it sounds like a witch. It sounds it like does. one of those cartoon witch laughs. And it is is funny and annoying at the same time. And I just crack up every time she does it. And then I'll be rolling my eyes at her. So I'm confused. I don't know how to feel about it. And I know most of y'all don't like Heavenly, but Heavenly is my girl. <laughs> yes. I'm like, and it's like the most inopportune times. It's like, girl, this ain't funny. And she's the loudest thing in the room. <laughs> oh, God. If I was um, Dr. Damon, daddy, she'd get chopped in the throat every time she do that. She'd be like, <laughs> yeah, don't do it. <laughs> so moving on, the next segment is going to be entitled, ooh, where you go? Come back to us. Where you at? I don't know why she's acting up. Hold on. It's acting maybe, up for a long time today. Let me unplug maybe it it's trying it to tell us that we need to do our reviews on time and don't be months behind. Maybe uh, that's what the because you still ain't back. All right, this next segment we gonna call this quiet stays bothered because y'all this heifer is always bothered about something or some something or someone. I mean. Every time we see her online, she bothered. Every time we see her on the show, she bothered. Probably when she taking a shit or taking a piss, she bothered. I think y'all get what I'm trying to say. She stay bothered. So let's go ahead and see what she could possibly be bothered about. But I was being petty. I'm going to show y'all the first clip. It's not so much she being bothered. I just wanted to show the Phaedra's a liar. So here we go. I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. Why are you today. tired? Talk to me. Oh, I don't know, chat. I got lost in the here. Traffic. Girl, we 10 minutes away from I each know. other. Girl. I thought they said in what, episode two or three, whenever, whatever episode Quad first showed up. And she showed up at Phaedra's house, and you know, they was twerking and whatnot. I thought they said they was best buddies. That's the lie they had done told when they dropped it to the floor and brought it back up. That's what if they say. If you best buddies, how you get lost when you live 10 minutes away from her house? Because they not really best buddies. Because they liars. Lioya. You know Phaedra. She's a lioya. So this was the first time Phaedra went to the girl house? I'm pretty sure it was. And, well, you know what? Let me retract that. It may not have been. You know, Phaedra just lies just to lie. Just like... uh she was, they were going to induce her because her baby was bigger than it was supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, my due date was July 26th or August 1st. But isn't it dangerous to have a, 
a baby at six, seven months. Not if everything's fully formed and his lungs are functioning. Just like her and Apollo met at a certain age and <laughs> Apollo was a little bitty child. So Phaedra just lied a lot. I think she do it for sports. So I don't know. I don't believe nothing <laughs> she says. She probably was just at Quad House last night and got lost because she was just home doing what she was doing, playing with Benji. I don't know. Oh, we going to get on Benji. But now we really going to address what the segment is about. Quad stays bothered. And so we going to show you everything that she was bothered about. Just threw your friend to the side, got you a new friend, and was booed up. Say this is sweet tea. Big smile. Lots of tea. Big tea. Well... All I got to say is why she she should have just held on to that for a little while longer. Because if she would have just let the season play out, trust me, Heavily and Sweet Tea don't remain friends at all. I don't know if y'all been seeing what's going on in these YouTube streets, but Quad was good. All she had to do was just hold her horses and just let Heavenly do Heavenly. Heavenly be producing, girl. Just let Heavenly produce. She wanted to get a rise out of you, and that's what she did. She bothered so much she got a comment on the girl Big Teeth. I mean, it is a little big, but girl, why is you bothered? Well, let's find out why she bothered. Did Quad say to you why she was mad at you? Because in my opinion, it seemed to me that Quad was upset with you because you know personal things about what her and Greg went through and how dare you take a photo with his new girl. I... I'm going to say yes. She's going to say that I know things that happen with Greg, some horrific things. Yes, she does. But for me and me knowing Quad, in my opinion, now you're going to ask her, she's going to say something different. And for the show, she's going to say something different. I didn't think Quad gave a damn about me taking a picture with that girl. Because when I first met the girl at Jackie's 50 Shades, right? 50 Shades Golf Tournament, right? This was two years ago. Two years ago. And then she came back the next year. And I was surprised to see her back. But the first time we saw her with Dr. G, the first thing I did was take a picture and a video and sent it to Quad. So we kiki and talk about this new girl. You know what I mean? You know how you want to know your ex's new girl. So I'm sending it to her. So to me, for her, she knew it wasn't that, that deep for me to take a picture with her because I'd done it before and sent it to her. And we laughed. This, this Dr. G new girl. Girl, she ain't, you know, and then we talk about it, you know what I mean? What, but what did y'all say about her girl? She ain't what? She ain't, she ain't me? You know, that's what Quad gonna say. Mm -hmm. So Quad be putting on for her city. And that's exactly what she did when she grabbed that pillow and took a big smile, big T. When she did all that, Quad be putting on for her city. Quad is very dramatical, not dramatic. She's very dramatical, honey. And it's got to be all about her. And she's going to put on a show. And Quad really ain't nobody friend on the show. Quad is just on here for her coins. And I wish that she'd just say that I'm just here for the coins. I'm not really here for friendship. And then everybody would have been good and said, okay, this is what it is. This heifer just here for her coins. But she tries to wear everybody out with her woe is me antics and they don't do this for me. And they do this to me. And Quad is just full of manure and all I got to say is she makes my butt itch you can go I'm gonna replay what she said because Heavenly just told us this ain't the first picture she sent to Quad a sweet tea and that they was basically making fun of the girl so now you get the second picture and this is what you got to say just threw your friend to the side got you a new friend and was booed up say this is sweet tea Big smile. Lots of teeth. Big teeth. Like, girl, why is you coming for her talking about her big teeth? Are you bothered? I'm not understanding. Are you bothered? Why are you bothered, Quad? You said you didn't want Dr. G. You left him. I you took the sleep number. <laughs> you know, I don't think it's so much that she wants um, Dr. G. In my opinion, I feel like Quad was threatened because she's no longer married to medicine. And mm -hmm. now Dr. Gregory is back and Sweet Tea is married to medicine. And she felt herself being phased out. So she felt like she had to really do the most this season 
just to try to keep up stuff on the show so that she could remain on the show. And so she had to pick a fight with Heavenly because who gets to stay on the show if they're not fighting with Heavenly? I mean, Heavenly fights with all the girls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And she's giving Sweet Tea too much shine. And I felt like, I feel like she felt Heavenly may pour a little bit more into Sweet Tea and stop so much as helping her stay on the show because Heavenly made it quite clear that she's the reason they keep bringing Quad back. She's the advocate for Quad because, like Mariah said, she's not married to Madison and she isn't. Well, continuing in the Quad Stays Bothered series, let's look at this clip. The wedding actually turned out to it. But well, were there any ice sculptures? Were there any? <laughs> no, no you know ice sculptures. I do funeral programs like this. She connected this to a funeral. It program. is though. Now I'm a forever laughing Phaedra because she's shady. But Quad, why did you need to know about the wedding? It sounded like you were really interested in what was taking place at the wedding and whether they had ice sculptures. Quad, are you mm-hmm. bothered? She's bothered. She's bothered. She's at that. Quad is insecure. She she puts on this front like she's so secure and all the girls want to be her. Yes. But Quad is really in, yes. Miss Quad. Miss Quad. She got it. She got she it. Got she it. got she it. Don't. <laughs> she don't have it. It's, well, she, she has it. However, she's not secure in it. So she's doing a lot of comparing herself and sweet tea to try to bring somebody else down. That's what people do when they are insecure about themselves. They have to compare themselves and make the other person look bad. So she's trying to tear sweet tea down. And maybe sweet tea just did not require all that you require, which is probably why Gregory wants her because he knows his bank account can stay intact. Okay, that's all I have. The only thing I hated, the only thing I hated was the the pipe and drapes was very, very wrinkled, like crepe paper. That drove me crazy. And I'm going to follow that up with Miss Quad's response about the drapes. Well, girl, now I can just tell you when I was down to the Four Seasons, when we got married, we did not have wrinkled drapes. Mm-hmm. So maybe Greg spent all his money on his first wedding. <laughs> Yes, and why are you up here comparing when you say you don't care and you're not bothered? I mean, (laughs) make it make sense. Well, I would say moving on from Quad, but we can't move on from Quad because this episode basically is about her. So segment three, and I'm going to put it here on the screen, the familiar patterns of Quad. Because just like I said, heavenly is like clockwork, so is Quad. Quad got so many, many patterns. And it's just like every season, you can only say the same thing about her. It's not like she has growth and maturity from season to season. She pulled the same stunts. Mm. Like, and I don't know why anybody is ever surprised. So let's get into this. Um... Basically, they still at uh who house they at? They at Quad House. Yeah, they still had Quad's house, and you know they filling her in. But you are gonna start to see some familiar patterns coming from Miss Quad. So here we go. Said that my name was on there that morning, but the name was scratched off the list. So are you saying that Heavenly Best Friend Sweet Tea uninvited her to the wedding? Quad. Now, you know that's not her best friend. Why you keep saying this? Quad. You're being petty, number one, which is a familiar pattern of quad. And on to the next one. Uh Uh-uh. The BFFs are falling out already. Quad, you know I ain't did nothing, right? Quad. (laughs) Are you about to try to take this whole story and turn it towards you and how you've been done wrong? Because now you're talking about how Heavenly went and got a new best friend, but now Heavenly's already falling out with her and Heavenly should have just stayed with you instead of going and get sweet tea. Quiet, are we about to turn this to you? 
quad. I know that's not what, what we're about to do, but hmm, season one, <laughs> season two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Didn't she turn pretty much everything back to herself? Always, always and forever. Always and forever. Yes, she does. <sighs> Quiet. <laughs> We can't even give you quiet. We can't even give you the benefit of the doubt. But okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the next clip, maybe she not going to turn it towards herself. Let's see. Let's see. And so when you all posted her like, yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, there. I said, oh, honey, where's the loyalty? And here's the thing. I was challenged with like, what's Heavenly's heart posture? We done jumped all the way to what your heart posture is because you have no loyalty behind the picture? Behind the picture. That was a deep reach. Quad. That was a deep reach. Yeah. Man. We, we gonna, let's look at the next one. When I saw her post it up with Sweet Tea, honey, I was like, well, damn. It makes me question the friendship that Heavenly and I share. From where I'm from, we don't move like that. We don't move like that. Not at all. <laughs> quad, you turned it, Quad. Quad, did you just successfully turn this and make yourself the victim? Yep. That's what quad. Mm, mm, mm. Let's season one. Season mm. two. Season three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine season 10 and we still doing the same thing quad why is it always somebody doing something to you I, she's forever the victim she is forever the victim and if someone was, were to say that she'd be like don't say that don't use that word no that's what you are that's what you are but i'm kind of wondering just a little bit is there a little narcissistic tendencies that lie within quad or is this just insecurity it's kind of hard to, to tell well the person she was married to could have diagnosed oh let me shut up let me shut up i shouldn't say that mm -hmm. i should not say well, that huh? diagnose him <laughs> <laughs> come on man let's be for real <laughs> He's playing doctor. This, he's just as nuts as he can be. Child, please. No. No. Will not recognize him as a, a psychiatrist with his antics. I will not. Let's move on. So answer this. If Quad always wants to turn things back towards her, what do you think she just really wants from people? For people to kiss her butt. Ah. Quad wants everybody to kiss her behind, but she wants to give nothing in return. And so she's wanting everybody to just fall at her feet and dote over her the way Mariah did. And as soon as Mariah stopped is when she turned on her. And that's the same thing she's doing to all these ladies. So as soon as they are no longer, you know, Miss Quad, Miss Quad, and making it about Miss Quad, she has to make it about herself. And so. How dare you guys come onto the show and make it about you and your lives when I have arrived? I'm, what the what the people say? She want to know what they saying about Miss Quad? Child, please, Ooh. ain't nobody study you, Quad. Go sit, yo. Da mm. <laughs> Play the next clip. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> and I accept your apology, but honestly, for a moment, I really wish you would have just took a moment and said, "How would Quad feel?" Let me put myself in Quad shoes. Listen, it's about. Where is just a little bit of support for me? <laughs> so we got to put ourselves in quad shoes so that we can support her? My thing is this. How would Heavenly know that it's a problem when she sent you that first picture and y'all kikied about it and it wasn't a problem? So how is it all of a sudden a problem now? Because you're trying to make a storyline to stay relevant on the show? Is that what we really do? That seems like what these people do on this show. It's like we can form some really great friendships. But when my job is on the line, it's F everybody. I'm going to make a storyline out of this and I'm cutting all y'all hoes. 
And that's just what it is. And that's just what she did. Why does no, she ain't concerned about Heavenly and Sweet Tea having a relationship or a friendship because when they start recording, Quad ain't got nothing to do with the cast, okay? Quad is with her real friends. She done told y'all that. Y'all are just filming friends and y'all really not friends because what did she say on that other show? Uh, we, we haven't gotten there yet, but she has no connection or something to them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to yeah, let so her I tell it. Why that was so hard? We're we going to let her tell it because, yeah, that might be in the episodes where they take the trip, but they shouldn't have been shocked from her saying it because she kind of alludes to it in this episode. So we're going to take a we're going to take a little look. See, quad, you stepped away from the group just like you did Ooh. when you were going through your tumultuous divorce mm-hmm. and you didn't reach out to anyone. No one reaches out to me. So let me get this straight. If somebody is expressing concern and says you didn't reach out to anyone, why do you immediately clap back? Nobody reaches out to me. Why do we keep turning this towards ourselves and making ourselves be the victim? Because quit, quad is quit. <laughs> quad is always going to deflect. And the thing is, she can hold no wrong. She can do no wrong. Everybody else is wrong. And she's working out of that. Um, that ego uh, type thing. She's and she's in her id. Let me put it that way. And psychology is it's in your working from your id type behavior. She's acting like a child. And it's like if you go fuss at somebody else and they say, but so and so did it too. Why you got to point at somebody <laughs> else? Take the blame for yourself. Yes, ma'am, I did it. I was wrong. But Quad is always going to point that finger back. But you know about what they say when you point one finger, how many's pointing back at you? Quad, Girl. stop. Stop. Let this id go. It's time to grow up. But what I am saying is it's going to be fair across the board. They could have called me and I could have called them. What you want me to say? I think the problem is you don't take ownership for anything. I I think think you're lying right now. No, no, no. I'm not lying. That's the way I feel. Mm. This backed up just what you said. She don't take ownership for nothing. Nothing. And if you tell her that, you're lying. You're lying. (laughs) <laughs> You're like, <laughs> this whole quad tells the truth, honey. <laughs> Girl, it's really quite sad. It really is, but do quad think she is the most high? Because she can do no wrong. And I thought he was the only one that could do no wrong. I think she might be the... All right, girl, I'm not even going there. I'm not touching <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> And Heavenly over here and is still trying to help the, help the girl. Here's what Heavenly had to suggest. Just Tell say, hey, I could have reached out to them. I, I could have done better. To That's all they want And I could have probably done better. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, moving on, are you going to reach out to the girls? Qua didn't mean nothing that she just said. She said that to shut you up. She was being facetious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she also saw that Heavenly was finna digging that behind. Quad, <laughs> but the part that you didn't play was when she's like, Quad, Quad, don't talk to me like that now because you might get, get mad. <laughs> <laughs> and she knew that if Heavenly got mad, that that mouth is lethal and she's loud. She can over talk you. She can out talk you. Quad, this ain't what you want. And she knows that. And she also knows that she needs to keep Heavenly on that little leash she got so that she can stay on this show. But she was really feeling Mm. herself a little too much. And um, you got exiled. Hmm? But that's your fault. Well, let's move on to Heavenly spilling some tea to um, Carlos or Carlos, like uh, (laughs) Sweet Tea calls him. Here we go. (laughs) I want to know what the beef is. And I'm just breaking the fourth wall a little bit. But what's your beef, girl? Because when we finish filming, and this is a fact, Quad is not our friend off camera. Like, she don't call us. She don't reach out to us. She with the housewives girls, them girls that be going to the thing, and they she be, I mean, and they looking for men, and I get that they go to Kenya, and Nairobi, Kenya, and, and all the, over there, said Africa, and try to find the men, and they, you know, thirst trapping for the gram, and they naked and all of that. Quad with them women. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't calling no names, but you know who they are. I just look back at the pictures. But what I'm saying to you is Quad don't be with us after that 
I speak to Simone, I speak to Jackie, I speak to what well, Toya speaks to Simone. So in, inadvertently, we all keep up with each other. So when the camera start rolling, quad starts reaching back out or don't. Well, let me just say before you get started, I think this has been the what we needed for Married to Medicine. This Carlos and Heavenly matchup, Heavenly yes. spills all. I can de- thank you, Heavenly, and thank you, Carlos, or as Heavenly calls him, Carlos, Carlos, for her country self. So. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Heavenly just spilled some tea. Let's go to the live where uh, a little more is going to be spilled and maybe they're going to try to hold Quad accountable. But do you think Quad going to take any accountability? Girl, no. Let, let, Don't y'all waste see. your time thinking that, okay? <laughs> let's let's <laughs> see. Let's see what's going to happen. We want to hey. hear from Dr. Jackie. What you think so about what, Dr. Dr. Jackie, Jackie? They want you to say something, child. They want you to hit. make sure your I, audio on, honey. I, what can you on? Can you can they can well, you hear Dr. Jackie? Why, why is she talking that? to you? I can own the fact that I saw some things off camera that I did not like that made me pull away from the group. That's what I can own. Is that enough for you, Jack? No, I need to know particulars. What did you see? I saw my friend heavily running around with my ex-husband's new wife now because they've met they're married now no, before, wait, 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 no, you no, that, you me, you, but you asked me a question okay. you asked me a question so allow me to tell with you. that jackie man uh-huh. allow, allow me to tell you and okay. i respect you a lot jackie because you have told us profusely if curtis go out and y'all divorce Y'all can't talk to Curtis no more, nor can you be friends with anyone that he's brought around. And I respect I said that. that. I said that. Uh-huh. Yes. So okay. here's the thing. With that, with that same sentiment in play, I felt a certain kind of way. Now, could I have picked up the phone to call, listen to me, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and say, you know what? Didn't really like that. We need to have a sit down. This doesn't feel good to me. I own that. Okay. Okay. That's full accountability okay. for those who don't know accountability. All right. All right. Yes. Yeah. Bitch. And I have not cursed 2024. Bitch. You lying. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because my first words out my mouth was going to be, what a condescending bitch. <laughs> oh my God. So. Her idea of taking accountability is pointing fingers and then saying, I could have. Not taking accountability for you, Quad, since you don't know, is stating what you did wrong, not what anybody else did wrong. That's accountability. It's on what you could have done or what you did not do. That's accountability. Me saying, well, I saw some things that didn't make me feel good that y'all did is me pointing fingers and then stating, but I could have picked up the phone, but you didn't, ho. Okay? You didn't. So don't nobody want to hear this bull crap from you. And how dare you? I mean, really, how freaking dare you? You slimy heifer. And then my thing is, you've been making fun of Sweet Tea with Heavenly with these pictures for over two years. So you've been knew who the girl was. You want to go back to what, season four or five when uh, Curtis cheats on Jackie and Jackie's like, if we get divorced, y'all can't be friends with him. Now you want to go back to that and bring it up and try to say Heavenly can't be friends with Sweet Tea because you divorced from Greg. That's basically what you were saying because you called Jackie out to the carpet with that statement and said being keeping with the same sentiments. But you have already made it known that you don't care about sweet tea, but do you really? Are you bothered? Because you said nothing. You've clowned this entire um, recording of this, this, what you call it, season. Now, after the season, all of a sudden, you felt some type of way because you're divorced from Greg, so nobody should be friends with her. 
You didn't feel like that when you was recording. You was at the uh, what bachelorette party. Talk about there's no animosity. Y'all were cool bringing her gifts. Well, Sit right next to me. Oh, thank you. Really? That's a little, that's a little something that makes it nice, a little sweeter. I'm a classic girl, honey. I keep the gifts rolling. Congratulations to you. They've been talking a lot about you. Yeah. And I want you to know that. Like, I have no animosity against you. What message are you trying to send? Are you just trying to use this as a convenient message so that you don't you don't get your ass handed to you on this slide? Make it make sense. You can't make foolishness make sense. And that's exactly what she did. I stand with what I said earlier. I don't believe that she's bothered by Sweet Tea, and nor is she bothered by Sweet Tea and Heavenly because she has proven that she really has no friendship she's not connected to these women in any kind of way she's using this as an excuse for her bad behavior she's given us excuses instead of taking accountability she's given us excuses and so that's what a narcissist does it's always going to be someone else's fault of why they behave the way they behave it's so easy for me to screw up at work and then come and give y'all a thousand reasons why everybody at work made me make that screw up because they do this and they do that and if they hadn't been doing this and then I wouldn't have been distracted and that wouldn't have happened. no hold you did what you did because of who you are you have a nasty black heart and you're selfish and you're all about quad and you want everybody else to hang out your behind like a hanging chad and these all all these women are very professional so one they don't need you okay you need them especially this season you need them you're not married to medicine quad you're not married to medicine why are you even here you ain't even married to medicine my love they allowed you to come back after they have been recording and gave you some scenes, and then you still come on here and act a whole jackrabbit. Girl, get your life together. Stop accusing people. Stop making excuses. Stop using sweet tea who you are so not bothered about because you was that girl. You was that girl, and you left Dr. Uh, Gregory, remember? But now, all of a sudden, since the blame and uh, they're pointing the fingers at you because of how you have treated all of them, it's now because of Sweet Tea and Heavenly. That's so bogus, and you are full of crap, okay? Just like some of your wigs. Let's move on. You go. I well, I just want to let you know. Quad ain't done talking because the fool then had this to say. Oh my gosh. I think that we missed you before that had even happened. You said what, baby? We missed seeing you before you even saw that picture with heaven. <clears throat> but here's the thing if it's not, I am wherever you all want me to be. If you want, if you invite me, if you call on me for anything, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to be there. But if I feel like I'm not getting that, then it's difficult for me to give it. And then when I see what I see, it's even more challenging. But there has never been a time we go back in our history of 10 years. If you have called on me, if you have asked me to do something for you, the answer is always yes. I'm never going to tell you all no. I love you like that. So I'm never going to say no to you. So we didn't feel the love, though. And I didn't either. Okay. So we can all agree that there was a lack of love going between the the group. I will say yes to that. I, 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 translation. I'll come to something, maybe, if you invite me. I'll come to something, maybe, if you invite me. Y'all want to invite me? Invite me. Maybe I'll come. I, 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 I. You never do anything for them. You never try to reach out to them. And your excuse is always, well, y'all didn't invite me. Why should they invite you? My thing is this. Like you said, it's all the I statements. But you only show up, like they said, when they call you, what? You don't answer. You return the phone call in six weeks. So if they're inviting you to something that's happening this week, you won't know about it until six weeks later. The only time you really keep up with the collective 
is during recording time when they are recording because after that you are in the wind and you don't return phone calls and even Carlos called you out about that so the girls are not lying okay you're the liar and you really you really 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 got to grow up and get yourself together because this is not a good look you want to hold yourself as this educated black queen but you're acting like a roach Okay, <laughs> you act like a roach, like her, like her ex husband, like her ex husband, just like Gregory when he was on that floor foaming at the mouth. You acting like Gregory, and I see why y'all were together. Okay, I see it. Y'all act alike. Both of y'all are very immature, very immature, and both of y'all are all about yourselves. Greg wanted you to be the housewife. You wanted to be the movie star. He wanted you to give him a child. You wanted him to give him your wallet, give him his wallet, give you his wallet. Child, it was just like access to the money. I get a little access to the money. A little access to the money. You just ain't say it on camera, but that's what you wanted. <laughs> and then when you built your little account after you got on this show and got some notoriety, then you was like to hell with Greg. OK, <laughs> so you use great to get where you want to be. You use great to get in his circle, to get amongst his friends and to get on this show. And then you gave Gregory your behind the kiss. So, girl, you do every here I go again with the fading picture. You give everybody your behind the kiss. Everybody. Why is it doing? She this? do. But you always want something from them that you're not willing to give in return. I don't know why I got the reading rainbow showing up here. Reading rainbow. Please, Louise, I have to leave quite alone because her spirit is messing with my phone. We ah. gonna we gonna leave her alone for for a little bit. I'm gonna call this next segment the shenanigans of Phaedra. Phaedra, you be doing the most. You be doing the most. Let's get into this. Yeah. What the hell? Okay, tall, black, and handsome. She got you through the gate, how? It's dangerous having these cute little boys walking up to your door like... Phaedra, why you got Benji delivering these invites? Why you got these women, you know, hot in the drawers over Benji? Phaedra, where did Benji come from? Phaedra, why are you calculating up shenanigans? Phaedra, Phaedra, you got Jackie up here hot in the drawers over this little boy. And trust, he don't want her. Phaedra, where did Benji come from? Phaedra, l let's find out where Benji came from. Well, first, let's get back to the women and see what they got to say about uh, Phaedra's shenanigans. Oh, no, no, hey, no. You know that's hey, not Kevin, dog. Where did you uh, think of boy coming to you, the young man coming to your door? Like, I was like... <laughs> It was different. It was kind of weird, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know how he got past the gate and the dog, you know? <laughs> Jackie said, baby, get these young five men got to get away from me. <laughs> I don't know what in cap what capacity he works for Phaedra. What is he doing for her exactly? Okay, you got to be quiet watch the scene now. Hush, hush, hush. <laughs> Jackie is still over there bothered by Benji. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, this is Benji's album, BQ2, The Misinterpretation of Benji Fetch. Do you want to know what BQ is? The Butch oh, Queen. The Butch oh, oh. Queen. Phaedra, mm. why is the Butch Queen working for you? And why are you sending the Butch Queen over there to make Jackie hot? Jackie, do you know you're getting hot? By a nigga that like niggas. 
Jackie just said Curtis been hiding out and playing like he in a <laughs> DR, and she'll take whatever she can get at this point, okay? Because I guess that little stuff she's selling ain't doing it for her without having. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, y'all, Mr. Benji, the reason I was able to locate him is because Mr. Benji was down to the Twitter tweeting doing Married to Medicine, asking everybody, hey, y'all seen me on Married to Medicine? Y'all seen me on Married to Medicine? Well, apparently Benji is a reality star on a, um, I'm going to get the acronym wrong, LBGQ plus some shit, whatever that L-G-B. is. Yeah, if y'all y'all could come in the comments and come for because I really don't care. But whatever that acronym is, he is on a reality show called House of Status. And so he is a paid for actor as well as an up and coming inspiring rapper. He done got on the Twitter and said he ain't nobody's um butler and that Phaedra hired him. Phaedra, why is you hiring this boy to be your butler? Why are you putting on airs? Phaedra, you on a reality show being fake? Now, Phaedra. What's up with the shenanigans, Phaedra? Basically, I put this up here to give us a little break from Quad, because Quad going to come back doing some more shit. Mm, 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 mm. Well, Phaedra is basically, she came onto the show, and Phaedra does not want to show her real life. So Phaedra is keeping up a bunch of antics and she's basically doing heavenly fights with everybody. Right. And she gets into everybody's business and relationships so that she doesn't have to show her own. Because she said on this last uh, episode with her and uh, Carlos or Carlos that her marriage is not for sale and she will not talk about it and she will not do it. So she's producing everywhere else. Phaedra is doing productions <laughs> on the show and she's getting dressed up in all her costumes and inviting all of her characters in to keep y'all out of her business because she pretended to have a boyfriend to get onto the show and then said boyfriend was like, I ain't with it. You're not going to use my face and my character, you know what I'm saying? And my good name to make a fool out of me on this show. So now she's having to give y'all all of this weird stuff that she's doing to keep y'all out of her business and to not show the real Phaedra. Because we, I don't think we've ever met the real Phaedra. I think we got a small glimpse of her when Apollo was showing his behind yeah. on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she had to pull down, you know what I'm saying, her curtains, her theater screens, because real life was lifing and Apollo mm-hmm. got out of pocket and he got off of her. Um, what's the little thing that they, um, oh my God, I can't even think about it. When, off of her script. He got off of her script. And so then we got to see a little glimpse of Phaedra. But outside of that, Phaedra's always come on putting on airs and putting on shows and being the most and just making everything really, really big to keep y'all from really focusing on who was really Phaedra. Okay. If I can find the clip from Real Housewives of Atlanta, I'll insert it here. Um, When she was in the garage with her arms folded, talking to Apollo. Oh, that was a real fake. Phaedra was mad. Mm -hmm. Phaedra was mad. And she was Mm -hmm. also mad when um, Candy and Todd let him keep the stuff in their garage. She was mad. That was real fake. Phaedra was, that was real fake. That was Phaedra. That was fake. Outside of that, mm mm. Mm mm. But Apollo got off script. How dare he? (laughs) (laughs) So now this segment, it's going to be a short little segment. Three clips we're going to show. It is the um, prelude to the resurrection. And so we're going to talk about how Sweet Tea was not even invited. So here we go. What is this? You think he has risen? Who is this for? Phaedra. You didn't get it? Um, I got it. You didn't get it. I didn't get it. I got it. So let me ask you a question. If all of your friends were invited to something and they asked you, did you get an invite and you didn't, would you actually want to go? Absolutely not. No. If you don't invite me, I'm not coming. Period. You're not going to have a chance to tell me I'm not invited. I feel the same way. Okay, so we're still in the the prelude to the resurrection. 
Here we go. Quietly on this next exit. Oh, Lord, we're going to the house. Uh, she's that close to you. She doesn't call me. Quad and Jackie live very close to each other. Very close to each other. But they don't keep in touch. Mm -hmm. Jackie done says she ain't reaching out to Quad no more because when she reached out to Quad, it take Quad six weeks to respond. <laughs> but they live very, very close to it each other. Like they all live right up under each other. You notice that? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I was like, very interesting. So if you live that close to someone, you really ain't got no excuse as to why y'all don't keep in touch. So quiet. You're pulling the fast one. You're pulling the fast one. You just don't want to be in touch. And I think they should kind of figure that out because if I text you or if I call you and I don't hear from you until six weeks later, you responding to that text, that ought to tell me something. Big time. Big time. I ain't chasing and kissing nobody behind. Point blank and the period. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. you remember how Sweet Tea wasn't invited? Mm-hmm. Why is she in this vehicle? I wonder if Heavenly will approach you tonight about how she was treated or if she would just let it slide. How she was treated? You didn't call her and say you're not invited. I feel like I shouldn't have to. You talking shit about my back. You gonna calmly approach the I don't the know how I'm gonna approach it. If I swing, y'all pull me back. If you swing... Child, you gonna get laid out. But earlier... In past episodes, or maybe it was past lives, remember you said that you sent an email? But now you just tell, told them that you didn't contact them. Your lies is catching up to you, T. You ain't that That's sweet, one thing T. about a lie. If you tell a lie, you got to remember it so you can keep up with it. And she mm -hmm. tells all these lies and keep coming back and changing it. And it's like, girl, do you not know that you have a bunch of sleuths out here on YouTube and everywhere? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you're right you're right you're right <laughs> we be only like uh-uh that's not what she said that's not what you said honey hold on because i recorded it let me pull it up mm -hmm. hey, everybody got receipts on you child yes so that was the prelude to the resurrection now we about to be in the full-fledged resurrection and between me and you it was a shit show big time so we're going to go ahead and get started. And I actually named these clips. Each clip going to have a name. And I <laughs> named this clip. WTF is Phaedra doing? Mm. WTF is Phaedra doing? Here we go. <laughs> the f***. <laughs> I got two things. Once again, what the fuck is Phaedra doing? And Heavenly, you and that laugh. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Heavenly is a trip. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of Phaedra's outfit? Girl, she looks so gaudy and gothic. And I'm just like, why, girl, why? She's like one of the mothers that do too much in the church. She's like, please, mother, go take that off. <laughs> like, she got on her Dracula outfit. She should have been the one coming up out that casket with that outfit on. It's yeah. like, girl, bye. Mm -mm. <laughs> so Phaedra I think extra. it's... Oh, my bad. I just said Phaedra's extra. Gotcha. I think this next clip I have appropriately named Expertise. Expertise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you weren't invited tonight, sweet tea. Obviously, everyone is very intelligent. We've got everybody. Teeth, vaginas, tennis expert. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot to share. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh <laughs> my goodness. Shade. The shade. Oh, she's so shady. That was she so said, shady. Teeth, <laughs> vaginas, <laughs> tennis expert. <laughs> <laughs> and then 
I think just what it says on the screen, Heavenly, did you have to double back and say this bitch said tennis expert? <laughs> Heavenly, did you have to double down on it? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Heavenly is me. Because <laughs> I would have been like, no hell, she didn't say tennis expert. <laughs> heavenly is me. I am heavenly at times. <laughs> wow. I would have threw something at Phaedra. <laughs> I would have threw on a church fan. Something would have went flying up to one of them roses. Phaedra would have got hit with something. I'm like, you have her. Well, let me ask you this. To describe Toya, would you have said tennis ex- expert or would you have said wine connoisseur maybe? Or would you have said um, moving specialist? Uh, what else? Um, what else ha- ha- could you get her? Something about the IRS and owing, you know? Back taxes so expert. Things. So many things. So <laughs> many things that she could have used. That tennis expert was it, though, because she loves to brag about that. She loves to brag about that. But if she would have been trying to be fair and not shady, she would have said wine connoisseur because they know that that's what that girl's business is this year. So she was being shady for real, for real. And I was here for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was here so. For The next clip I'm entitling, Closed Caskets Only. Closed Mm -hmm. Casket Only. We might not want to have open caskets anymore. And here we go. Don't open them. Mm Mm-mm. Oh, my God. (laughs) Some of you girls. Yes. Gave me an early death sentence. (laughs) But I am well rested and restored. You know what? Do we know anything about Quad's background, like in high school or college? Did she major in theater? Was she in in the drama club? Who knows? I think her and Phaedra were in it together. That's why they're such best friends. (laughs) I just... It's extra. It's extra. (laughs) She's so performative. It's like, girl, go sit down. Is there any reason you would ever get in a casket if you were alive? No, and I don't plan to get in one when I'm dead. I'm just like, girl, what is you doing? Me standing up next to a tree. <laughs> this girl really got in a casket in a funeral home. I ain't trying to keep no job that bad. I'm sorry. Y'all ain't putting me in no casket. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, thank you. Mm-mm. I don't play like that. I don't play like that. Uh-uh. I don't want to feel how it... I don't care how I feel. I'm not doing it. Mm-mm. This next clip is going to be entitled, Can the Petty Actually Be Buried? Because I don't know if it can. What you think? Uh, no. Let's see. No. Today, it is a funeral, but it's not one for Miss Quad. It is indeed one to bury the pettiness, the turmoil, and the strife amongst this group. Girl. Don't well, she you cause have, everything? They would have to put her back in that casket <laughs> and bury her. <laughs> They're like, going to bury it. The three things she named, she the main culprit. So hop back Ooh. on in that casket, girl. Get back in the casket and close it. Because you the main That's culprit. Right. <laughs> and let them high step you out to a grave because you the petty. <laughs> <laughs> this next clip that I'm about to play. I didn't really title it because it's something that you submitted that you felt strongly about. So I'm going to just play it and let you go off, sis. Go off. Simone, there was a point in time that you and I had a very close-knit relationship. For the life of me, I don't know where that went. And if you would join me and just letting it all go, I would love to rekindle our relationship. So what bothered me about this is her and Phaedra set up this whole thing for her to come and squash all the beef with the girls, right? She was supposed to be coming to apologize for how she's been acting or how she acted in the friendships. And then she's coming and she's starting with everybody 
y'all gonna have to excuse this camera going in and out because what we not gonna do is keep stopping this show <laughs> but um for her to come and tell uh simone she doesn't know what happened to the relationship first of all you haven't even picked up the phone to call her if you're really that concerned about the relationship it should not have taken bringing all the girls together. If you're going to repair a relationship, she should have picked up the phone and called each one of them and say, hey, you know, things don't feel right between us. I'm not sure if I've offended you in some way. Can, can we talk? You know what I'm saying? If you really don't know what happened, can we talk? Like the name of the show. Anyway, but she didn't do any of that. What she did was jump up there and make these statements and then just say, you know, can we just squash it? So no, ho, because you owe me an apology. I feel slighted. So no, we're not going to just squash it. We need to talk about it. No, Simone, I mean, not Simone. What's this chick name? Quad wants to get up there. And she, for some reason, feels like she's in charge of the girls. That's how it feels to me. It's like she talks down to everybody. She talks at people. And she's really not looking for any type of resolution. She just wants to move past what she's done. I'm going to accuse you guys and make you guys the guilty party. But when it comes to me, let's just move past it and just bury it. No, nah, nigga, we're not doing that. We're going to have yeah. to talk about this and get some, get some resolution. And that's why I was bothered by this scene. And she came at everybody like that. I don't think you were the only one that's bothered because in this clip, I'm going to call it questioning quad because quad about to get questioned. And here mm. we go. My <laughs> only question is, do you see us here as equals, friends, Great question. sisterhood? Great question. Or you standing this thing alone on, on an island? I see us all as one. I see us all working together, helping each other out for the greater good of whatever we need to do and get done. All right. Okay. She answered her question right there. She see it for yep. the greater good of getting what they need to do done. Not for really the friendships that she keep crying and barking she wants. You see what I'm saying? Quad is full of crap. But then what pisses me off is she's supposed to be there as a listening ear. If you're really trying to make amends, wouldn't you come in trying to hear what other people feel? And soon as Simone starts, I hate, yeah, I hate, and she's talking over her. You mm -hmm. can't hear nobody when your mouth is running. Nope. You can't. Oh, girl, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off, but child, I'm telling you, she makes my well, footage. Let's just be real about the uh, clip because this was one of the realest clips in the show. Although they didn't say it, what they said spoke loudly. Simone was basically asking her, are you here for us or are you here for the show? She was just talking in code. Quad's ass answer in, answers in code. I'm here for the greater good of what we need to get done. Mm -hmm. Basically, I'm here for the greater good of the coins. So let's do what we got to do to get the coins and damn these friendships. That's what you said, ho. Yeah, that's what you said. That's what she said. Because she got to pay for that house. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. It's but so good. don't you Go feel ahead. like if you got this big old house and you know that the majority of that, uh, your pay is coming from this show that you could humble yourself at some point. Quad don't know anything about humility. She does mm -hmm. not know anything about walking in humility. Period. So, Girl, if I was mm -hmm. Quad, I'm going to act right to get my money so that I don't be in debt. You gonna be you gonna get foreclosed. You keep playing. You better that get some act right. You better get something. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be calling y'all hoes so much, you'll be like, girl, if you don't stop calling me. Like, but what? Y'all said don't call back. Now I'm calling. I'm calling you before you can call me. And then as soon as you call me, I'm calling you right back. What's up, girl? What we doing? Because hmm. <laughs> I know I don't have a leg to stand on in this show, and I need a spot on the show, honey. Who we going after this this season, Heavenly? Since you know she producing everything, <laughs> who we going after? Me and you gonna be like me and Mariah, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girl, bye. This next clip I have entitled "An Offering." Now let me tell you why I entitled it "An Offering," because I don't know about y'all, but I do be in the scriptures, and to me, the way I understand the scriptures is that an offering is supposed to be pleasing. An offering 
is supposed to be genuine and offering is supposed to come from the heart. And once you give the offering, you don't go back and do the shenanigans that you was doing because the offering was supposed to make up for it and bring peace. Hmm. To me, that's what, what, what happens when you give an offering. Quad is about to give an offering to Toya, but all that stuff I just said an offering was, girl, you think that's about to happen? But whose altar is she bowing at when she's giving this altar? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Because it ain't. Look, it's not the altar of the God of Abraham, mm-hmm. Isaac, and Jacob. I know it ain't that God's offer. Mm-mm. Nope. It ain't his altar. Mm-mm. But, Mm-mm. but let's see what kind of offering is about to be made. Natoya, baby, I had to save you for last. If you are willing today <clears throat> to let it ride out, I don't give a damn what you said about me. Girl! <laughs> Oh, oh, I know she didn't. Wait so a minute. She... No, she go, I, I'm going to let you go ahead because you can see we my just face? play that one more time? Because I just, I got yes. A, what? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> Y'all now, listen Toya, to this. baby, I had to say you for last. If you are willing today <clears throat> to let it ride out, I don't give a damn what you said about me. So do you guys remember that last season on a last season show, he accused Toya and Eugene basically of setting Anila up to get her house broken into a couple of times. Then on top of that, she was one of the main ones running around, putting the accusations out there that Toya was sleeping around with somebody in the neighborhood on her husband, Eugene. And she has the audacity because everybody on the cast was saying that she was sleeping with her contractor. First of all, you ain't married. So what difference would it make? That wasn't going to alter your life one way or the other. But this woman was married with kids and you came with these accusations and stood on it 100 saying that this is what this woman was doing. And then also coming for Eugene and his wife. And first of all, this man is a licensed physician. He could lose his um, license to uh, his license to practice. And you're coming for their whole livelihood, talking about they had something to do with this woman's. house being broken into and then you want to come up here with this bull crap that you said and y'all i'm trying so hard not to curse but you come up here with this bull crap that you said about i don't care what you said about me i'm willing to bury it girl are you serious right now if i were latoya i would have flew across those pews like a flying squirrel and been all over that hell but i would have beat her down in that church and had to ask for forgiveness later, but she would have got it. You hear me? And they would have been dragging her corpse back up in that doggone casket for real. And I would have been like, nah, it's a funeral, witch. I cannot believe the audacity. The, oh, I'm sorry. Y'all, girl, go, go because, ooh. Mm -mm. I'm going to play it one more time because I got something to say, but I just need to hear her one more time. Time, right. Natoya, baby, I had to say you for last. If you are willing today <coughs> to let it ride out, I don't give a damn what you said about me. Mm. Okay, look here, you little stupid hoe. Um, <laughs> how is that an apology? You were supposed to be making amends for what you did, but you got up here and said, if you are willing to let it ride out, I don't care what you said about me. What? What? How is that an apology? How is that an offering? You didn't address anything that you did to this woman. Mm. You addressed nothing. And then jumping a little ahead, when you get to the repast, they're going to get into it. But what did you expect? You just told this woman, I'm saving you for last. Um, If you're willing to let it ride out, I don't give a damn what you said about me. Quiet. Sit your ass down and don't you get back up. Like, 
at people all. Be want, people be wanting to give her the benefit of the doubt, but you can't. You just can't. Look how she act. Look how mm. she act. And if any of y'all come in the comments taking up for her, you just as stupid as she is. And I said what I said. She said what she said. And she's standing on business. Yes. <laughs> Let me put T.I.'s son up here so y'all know I'm standing on business. Okay. Mm. Hey, go. But then, because I, what gets to me is how dismissive she was when Toya started talking about she, oh, okay, and she cut off and goes on, a, you know, addressing the other three. I'm sitting here like, girl, you were so fake for this. So, in other words, you know they get paid by, you know, how many, how many scenes and stuff they're in. She mm-hmm. needed a scene. So that's why yeah. she jumped up behind this casket and came on for this fake show of an apology tour, which wasn't an apology. I'm like, girl, bye. That's the mm-hmm. only reason she did all this. Because she could care less mm-hmm. about what these people think about her. For this next clip, I'm going to tell you the title. But just know I'm going to have to explain it. Because some of you stupid quad fans, because y'all just that stupid to take up for, go think that I'm saying it wrong when I'm really not. So I'm going to need to explain it. I'm calling this Phaedra's 180 and not her 360. Because y'all be like, whenever somebody turn on y'all, y'all be like, they made a 360. A 360 is the whole damn circle. So if I start off hating on you and I take a 360, I'm right back in the same spot. So I'm still hating on you. So I'm saying Phaedra is about to take a 180 away from quad because 180 is half of the circle. She not going to be in the same spot. She's going to be in the opposite spot. And she about the 180 on that ass. So here we go. Hopefully y'all understand that. Cause I know y- the quiet people, cause they dumb enough to take up for it. They're going to be, you mean 360? You mean three? No ho, I mean 180. And I said what I said once again, and here we go. Yeah. I was hoping I was going to take this moment to be accountable, apologize, but I don't know if Quad knows how to humble herself. Now, Phaedra, if this girl been your friend for years, you should have already known that about her ass. So why is you acting brand new? Mm. Why? And I don't even know if anything else got to be said about, about that. But that scene right there, when she, the way she was sitting in that pew and looking, that's when it clicked in Phaedra head. I ain't, I ain't effing with her no more. That's what went through her head. She said, I ain't effing with her no more. How can I turn this? That's what she did. That's what she did. That's what she said. And she's standing on business too. So now. Do you really make, yeah. I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. Oh, I was just going to move on and say, let's, let's let Heavenly and Carlos be messy and spill some more tea. But you go on ahead. So I was going to say, she really made he- um, Phaedra look bad because she put this pretense that she wanted to come and apologize to the girls. And so Phaedra thought she was being a part of something positive because, you know, Phaedra trying to save her good name on this show. And so she put Phaedra in the middle of all her mess, which could have really turned all the girls. You brought us down here for this bull crap to be humiliated Uh and talked at, you know what I'm saying, by this girl knowing how she is, blah, 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 blah. So Phaedra realized, okay, I got to save my position on here because I ain't married to medicine either. And this is my first season. I can't come up in here kicking up dust like this. I got to make friends first before I start really showing my behind. So that's why Phaedra was like, I know reality TV. I've done reality TV. I got to get away from this witch because she is toxic. <laughs> okay? So Phaedra was like, let me save my own job. hmm Yep. And so this next clip I'm going to title, Heavenly Tell It All, Just Tell It All. Go on ahead and tell it all, Heavenly. Let's go. She did this big, whimsical thing in the casket and the repast and all this for Quad. And Quad came to the thing and did not do what they said she needed to do. And that was own some things, apologize to the girls. Quad came out of that casket, and I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't know how it played on the TV. It was like, but what have y'all done to me? Now, if it was some stuff, do you have any problem with me? Do you have a problem with me? Do you have a problem? And then what people said they did, she was like, well, that's on you. (laughs) 
The familiar patterns of quad. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. The familiar patterns of quad. Basically, quad, you hop up out of that casket and you handed them your ass instead of handing them an apology. And thought that they were supposed to lift that little handkerchief she had on and kiss it. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh, bye. Now, I want to know how she got out of that, that casket with that little short dress on when they helped her out without showing her who <laughs> That's what I want to know. Because I was puzzled. I was like, now, how, she, how the heck she get out of there? <laughs> without showing the girls and the boys that helped her out all her business. Mm. Well, now... We're going to move to the same old song. The song that Quad does not know what accountability is. So let's see what they had to say on the live. Because, you know, they had to cut the live off because Jackie and Quad was about to go at it. And, you know, Heavenly and Phaedra was like, let's just save it for the reunion. So let's see what they was up here talking about. Quad. Yes. Did you do you feel you took accountability for broken friendships at the funeral? Because you said, uh, let me finish, take it or leave it. And I'm very good question, Jackie. Thank you for asking because I'm I'm loving the opportunity for clarity. I knew and I had heard so many people saying so many things about me that I did not want to get into what they had said about me. I know I am not perfect, so I just said, Listen, whether of us argue about it let's just bury the hatchet they said some things i felt some type of way i've not responded to them in a way maybe i should have and so fuck it let's bury the hatchet and that's what i was trying to do there i did not want to go into when toya had went down to the to the to the carlos king and said that i was ugly without a wig honey and without my makeup you know what i mean that i'm down to the gun and having a good time on helicopters so I just didn't want to go into that. There have been a number of things that have been said. There have been a number of things that have been um, noted about me. And we can go back to the beginning of the, of the episode. Have you seen Quiet? You talked about it? Listen, I did things. No one's perfect here. Let's just wipe the, clay, the slate clean. I tried to bury the hatchet. Okay, but when it, for those of us sitting in the room who had not had any of those encounters with you, it was a little hard to hear you say to us, take it or leave it. I don't remember. Is it on there when I said take it or leave it? I said take it or leave it probably to Toya because I think I went down the list. Let's go back. I think I started with you, Jackie, in particular. You and did. I asked if you didn't have any strife. You said you didn't have any strife. I then went on to Heavenly. She said she didn't have any problem. I think I tapped on Alicia. They didn't show that. I said there are some people here with CT and I who are trying to keep us apart from one another diligently. And I said, but I have no animosity against you. I think I went through it when Simone challenged me at that time. She had some questions and I answered her questions. And then when I came to Toya, so what I said, when I said you either take it or leave it, that was not for you all. That was for Toya because of her right. attitude and behavior. You are, because you are so bright and so artic- articulate, I, I feel like you should have remembered your audience and we were all your audience and so when you went to the take it or leave it oh we back it, on that take it or leave it but let me stand Phaedra, okay. let me do this really quickly i had already went through the roster with you all we had already had an understanding we were okay and we were all ready to move forward when i said take it or leave it it was not for you jackie it was not for heavenly it was not for simone it was not for uh t it was not for uh, alicia it was not for phaedra it was for the person who gave me the most pushback. She doesn't, she hates me. And that's just what it is. And I have to accept that. Wake up, girl, wake up. She finally done. She finally done talking. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Mm, okay. Hold on, let me shake my hair out. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> so um, I actually have no commentary on that clip. I think that clip spoke for itself. And if you still appear taking up a quad, you was a dumbass. And I said what I said. And so moving on. Now we finally going to get to the repass. Let's see what uh, Phaedra got to say. Quad? Yes. Well, you agree that you said something delicious about her family. More than once. What did I say? Quad, we said we were thieves. You go even lower and say I cheated with somebody in the 
neighborhood. Claw said, I said that. Did that come out of my mouth? Yes, ho. I'm like, it's on camera. What you mean did you say that? Did that come out of your mouth? Yes, heifer. And you stood on it at the reunion. Sure enough, she sure did. Why is full of crap? <laughs> <laughs> Why is full of crap? I, I can't understand how people can see this and justify the behavior. It really pissed me off because I wanted an opportunity to jump on Toya because I really don't like Toya. Toya irks my nerves. Mm -hmm. But when I have to support Toya, it pisses me off quite. <laughs> and Heffa, <laughs> you made me have to support Toya and her getting loud. And I hate when she gets loud and ignorant. But she, you deserve that. She needed to pop off on you. Don't make me support Toya anymore. Dumb Heffa. <laughs> I'm going to call this next clip. Keep your hands to yourself or get dealt with. Mm. You all said and said that I slept with my damn contract. Yes, you did. Everybody at the table told you. You told me to keep their hands to yourself. Hey, we're headed downhill. Hey. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hey, 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 that's time to get knocked out. It would have been like one of those, uh, I don't know if you ever saw the Clint Eastwood movie when he had that orangutan. They'd be like, right hand, Clyde. And Clyde stick out that right hand. That orangutan stick out that right hand and punch somebody and knock them out. She would have got one of those. Because ain't no way in the world you finna stick your, hmm, girl, don't say it. You ain't finna stick your <laughs> claws in my face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you're not going to touch me. When we already, we already at it, you best stay your distance. That's your, you best stay your distance because it's going to take one fingernail scraping across me and I'm going to be on you. I'm telling you, I would have leaped across that pew. She wouldn't have made it to the repass. We would have been back there eating without quad because they would have had her little dingy behind in that casket. But she definitely mm -hmm. touched Toya and then she had her hands all up in her face. So Toya showed yeah. great restraint. Toya better than me because she would have got mushed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so disrespectful mm -hmm. to mush somebody. I kind of <laughs> rather be hit than mush, but she would have got mushed. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, next man. clip, we're going to call it. No, I'll keep this title because I, I truly think this. Quad rather fight you than apologize to you. I think that that's mm -hmm. the model. She she'd rather fight you than have to apologize. So let's watch that. I thought Quad was going to be doing some apologizing, but it appears that all she is going to do tonight is fight with anyone who is willing to fight with her. Yep. She rather fight than apologize. Right. Yep. Spot on. What is it called? The type that will start something, get her behind whip, and then want to sue you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder, is there a disorder or some, some type of phrase that you call a person who just refuses to apologize? A and narcissist. Rather, oh, well, there we go. Mm -hmm. there, there we have it. <laughs> it very good word to describe it. Mm -hmm. This next clip, I call it Whoa. W-O-E. Whoa is mm -mm. squad. Whoa is squad. We are going to have to have more conversations with some more honesty, some more accountability on the table. I got some things that I want to say as well. Some more? Yes, yes. I do want to say some things in reference to how I have been treated within this group as well. Whoa. W-O-E. Whoa, is quiet. Girl, did you hear, see Jackie say some more? Yeah, like, <laughs> I was tickled. I was so tickled. Uh, quiet will wear you out with talking. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Mm -mm -mm. She certainly will. And then this uh, is this the last clip I put up here. Um, and it's called The Shit Hit the Fan, according to Heavenly. Mm -mm. I think that Phaedra felt like the whole big malarkey of the of the funeral 
was supposed to be that quiet came back to the group and apologized to the people even if she felt she wasn't right or wrong that thing went to the left her and toya almost got to fighting for real they cut that why off. are we seeing they cut it off because they protect our show nobody wants to see us like that doctors and doctors wives about damn it fighting i mean they i want to see it what we, too. Oh, we saw first. mariah it was much worse. That's how we got on the map. And that was two doctors' wives. I get it. Let me respect Let me tell you something. I'll Let me tell you. But what I'm saying to you is it was a horrible fight. They almost got, I'm telling you, it was more, it was worse than what y'all saw. But neither one of them are uh doctors. So I definitely would have loved to have seen them fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would love to have seen Quad get clocked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and or Toya get clocked. Either one, either one of them yeah. helps getting clocked would be enjoyable to me. I'm just saying. And it's not like it's remote fighting. I don't either, but it's not like it would be like strange for the show because in season one they got the fighting and um Miss Lucy even bopped on the head with a purse. Oh, my oh, bitch. Nah, bitch. <laughs> yeah. So it ain't like it's unfamiliar. Exactly. Exactly. Mariah was trying to throw Toya in the pool. Bitch, <laughs> 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 nah, bitch. Oh my, what? what? Toya and Mariah are gonna fight right now. What are you doing, guys? No, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. I love watching that scene. <laughs> mm. Nah, bitch. Nah, bitch. <laughs> Nah, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, Toya, you from Detroit. That's all you had, girl. <laughs> well, guys, what are your thoughts? I mean, are you a quad fan? Are you a supporter? Are you going to get down here and try and read us? Whatever you have to say, put it in the comments because we want to talk about it. We really want to know what your thoughts are. These are our thoughts. You know what I'm saying? This is how we feel about what had happened on the show and it's really quite ridiculous the way um miss quad presents herself and tries to blame all the other ladies now i'm not a fan of a lot of the ladies on this show but i stand on the side of right just like i'm not a fan of toya but when toya was on the side of right i stood with her so tell us down in the comments what you think about the show don't forget to like the video subscribe share and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Miss Quad, Miss Quad. She fired. She fired. She fired. <laughs> oh, my bad. She fired. She fired. <laughs> Peace. Bye, guys.